rebounded by Durant. Nets trigger it quickly. Irving, fake. Oh, the defense from Kyrie. Hi there, hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video. Um, let's talk about the Kyrie situation uh, with his sneakers, that is. So after Nike decided to suspend its relationship with Kyrie and cancel his new signature shoe, the Kyrie 8, which is a good performer by the way, except for the cheap and plasticky upper materials. Now the partnership between Nike and Kyrie Irving has officially ended. In the Brooklyn Nets home game against the Hornets on December 7th, the first game after Kyrie became a sneaker free agent, he wore his old Nike Kyrie 3, I believe it's a Raygun colorway. He covered up the Nike swoosh and wrote, I am free, thank you God I am on the lateral side. From his message alone, you can probably tell that the two sides didn't end on good terms, unfortunately. Kyrie also didn't start wearing other brands immediately, but instead stick to his own signature shoes while attempting to send a message on them. It's interesting that he chose the Kyrie 3. Well, I think he's just been rotating between his own models these past few games. The Kyrie 3 was pretty good to me. Uh, stiff and lack of cushioning, but I mean, the Kyrie line isn't really known to have good cushioning anyways. Um, once I broke them in a little bit, I wore this shoe a ton. I know that from NBA players, Jared Allen always, always wear a pair of Kyrie 3s. And it's always that black and white colorway. Like the guy just never changes shoes for some reason. Anyways, which brand do you guys think Kyrie will sign with? Uh, leave it down in the comments now. A lot of people are saying that one of the Chinese brands might be able to pick him up. Like Li Ning, uh, Anta, uh, Peak. Well, he signed with brands like Under Armour, Puma, and even Adidas. It's just hard for me to see that happening. Probably a wild prediction, but I wouldn't exclude New Balance as a possibility. Uh, there's a certain level of oddness to it, and it might just match with Kyrie's personality and create some interesting chemistry. Also, I think Kyrie and Kawhi are really good friends, like in a sneaky way. Well, we never knew Kawhi was that close with Paul George before he pulled the Clippers move. And apparently Kawhi tried to recruit Kyrie to the Clippers too at one point, right? Also, there's for sure the possibility of him starting his own brand and making his own shoes. Uh, there's the Kai brand for wristbands that he wears and designs. Um, but that takes a lot too in terms of design, research, marketing, you know, hitting retail and all that. Regarding his last signature shoe with Nike, I guess the Kyrie 8 will forever stay canceled. Um, or maybe they drop them at the Nike outlets for the few colorways they've already made. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I actually really like that N7 colorway, but I don't know if they already made them yet. I found my pair at a Foot Locker store, but technically they put them on shelves by mistake, and now it's not there anymore. The Kyrie 8 is not a bad shoe at all. I probably still like the Kyrie Infinity better, especially when it comes to cushioning and materials. But the Kyrie 8 has amazing traction, a very strong grip even on dusty courts, and forefoot cushion remains to be responsive with zoom strobo at the front. And it's a low top, this one last time. Looking back at all the Kyrie shoes we've had in the past, which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments as well. Yeah, it's just pretty sad to see one of the most popular Nike signature lines come to an end. Uh, it all started when Kyrie made that Instagram post calling the Kyrie 8 trash, uh, which obviously is now just named the Kyrie Infinity. Man, I think both sides could have handled the situation better. Like for Nike, why wouldn't you let your signature athlete get involved in the design of his own shoes? It's not about how big of a brand you are. You, know, you need to show some respect to the guy who brought you one of the best selling signature lines. And for Kyrie, after you call out Nike like that, what do you expect to happen? Writing I am free on the shoes to throw shades at Nike. I mean, it's not like you work for them for free and didn't get paid a good amount of money for the deal. All right, that's it for this video. I'm really curious to see what happens next. Uh, Kyrie will probably take his time and get his own little version of a sneaker free agent period too before he makes a move. But we'll see. Let me know your thoughts, predictions, or anything you disagree with me on in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.